Okay, we are currently sitting on one of the works in the exhibition, I Can't Nail the Days Down. Can you tell us a little bit how it was made? We're sitting on about 6,000 bricks. These bricks were carved when they were still, they were created, but they hadn't been fired yet. So we carved um, the bricks up using chisels and hammers and drills and coins and collected glass. The glass comes from exactly around where we're sitting now on the Karlsplatz. And the work is very much about a type of everyday observation and you can see kind of moments where there might be things you recognise and there might be things that you don't recognise. You step, as you enter this exhibition space, you step directly onto the work and I was interested in creating a work where you had to move throughout the surface to see it. And I'm not expecting everyone to see everything, but it's about creating these opportunities and working with this light and working with this glass pavilion and this outdoor site. So I think as you move throughout it, you'll see different sort of chapters of the work. So down the end there, we've got like sort of chiseled puzzle, uh, puddles and things like that. And then sort of in the middle over there, there are some coins. The coins are all loose because I'm really hoping that a lot of the work gets kicked around as people walk on it. The work isn't fragile, although there are ceramics and glass. Everything is um, sort of about this kind of surface detail it's probably come from the ground in the first place so it's already been stepped on mm -hmm. so she sort of moved down the space um, I was the Sun comes in here in the afternoon and I really wanted to create a work that also responded to this so there's a lot of holes down here to try and absorb the shadow and the mm. Sun and the light many of the details are inspired by sites and situations in the city and also especially around Karlsplatz what were the sites you were interested in incorporating in the exhibition? I, it was more, it was just more things that I just would, it was more intuitive. I would be walking somewhere and I would see something and I'd think, gosh, that's a bit weird or that's unusual or I haven't seen that before. So just behind you here, we have a type of a surface that's got very, very shallow holes in it and that was because wa walking down a street there was a part of the sidewalk that had been sort of had had chairs and tables on it and it had created this sort of impression in the surface but the first few times I walked past it this, the restaurant hadn't been open and I just was like what has happened to the <laughs> surface? It's so fascinating and then I saw the tables and the chairs and so I mean I just really follow just my interest and my curiosity and I try not to determine too much about what I'm going to think is interesting because I have no idea. I think one of the more interesting things about being here in the Karlsplatz is this community garden. When I first came here I thought, gosh, this is, what is this? It was like, was really quite, it was quite, it was a moment where I was like, oh, well, it's definitely this type of improvise, improvisation is happening with the gardening. I saw some cardboard being used as a bed, you know, there's a weird beehive, beehive mm -hmm. down the end. So I was really interested in that. There's another work outside um, which kind of integrates itself in the environment around Karlsplatz and the, around the building. Can you tell a little bit what was your interest in that work and maybe also how it will change over the course of the exhibition maybe? Sure, well so directly out here on this small hill framed by some lavender is I'm not quite sure what to call it, but I'm going to call it a drain. It's like a drain or a gutter, and it runs about 33 metres down this very small hill that runs beyond the length of the exhibition space. And these are all handmade tiles, and these tiles are made out of clay that's been collected from the Karlsplatz in the 1970s from when they excavated the subway system. Mm -hmm. And if you look closely at these tiles, there's going to be like small little branches or cigarette butts or these small details that have been worked into the surface of the clay tiles. So I think from a distance you think, oh, well, it's like something I've seen before, but upon closer inspection, you'll find that these things have been very crudely made. You'll see fingers mm -hmm. and marks and fingernail sort of details and a type of clumsiness, which I think was important for this work, because this work is a very clumsy work. One thing I really like about the work is that 
it um, involves you as a viewer directly in a way that you can't just have a look inside the space and see the complete work. You really have to move and uh, walk across the space and um, let yourself allow to discover all these small details that are um, so fascinating by itself but really need closer inspection um, to, to really be discovered. Um, and during the process of um, preparing the exhibition, it was really interesting to be involved in all these steps in order to create the work, um, and that there's so much handmade work involved, like um, to work with the bricks that are known as a very conventional building material, especially in Vienna, where you find um, huge clay resources throughout the city and around. Um, but um, looking at the, the cityscape of Vienna, you mostly see very well decorated buildings. So the, the actual building material is very hidden in the city. And it's very interesting to reverse that and, and uh, foreground the actual building material and work with it in a very um, concise sculptural practice also, because you really work with that material and you carved out material and added something to it, so really creating this sculpture that doesn't represent itself as a sculpture um, that we know. It's not on a pedestal, it's not like just there to be looked at, but you really have to engage with it in a certain way. And I'm really curious to see how the outside work, the train, will um, evolve over the time of the exhibition, because it's out there, it's um, exposed to um, the environment, to the different seasons that will happen until the end of the exhibition, until September. And it will collect things from around and people will make use of it maybe. So it's a kind of uncertain moment that comes into the exhibition and I really like that and I'm really looking forward to see the exhibition changed every time I will come back. <laughs>